Hello everybody, it's Jace from J&J Explore. We're out and about today, it's the 27th of December, a couple of days after Christmas, and we are here at the start of the Arm River track, and we're gonna walk up to the new Pallion Hut. Um, we're just gonna take our time walking up. We have Wayne with us as well, and Justine over there getting ready to walk out, so. We've got a bit of new gear today. We've got Moondance ones. Dustin's got a new pack. And Wayne's got a new pack. Uh, of course, we're using One Planet packs. And no, we're not sponsored. We buy everything ourselves. All our Mont gear, our One Planet stuff, we just use it because it's good stuff. Anyway, so we're getting ready to head off and we'll see you on the track. Okay, we've started walking. We've been walking about five minutes now we're hitting down a bit but then we've got a pretty decent hill to climb um, apparently there's a lot of switchbacks in that which makes it a bit easier and not as steep so we'll see how that goes um, hope everybody had a good Christmas so far the tracks good so apparently we've got about 11 to 12 kilometers to walk today to the new Pallion Hut. Once we get there, we're going to tent it and uh, sort of settle in. At the moment, um, it's not too bad. It's nice. It's overcast. A little bit of drizzle here and there, but they're expecting a bit of rain tonight. And apparently, we're getting going to, going to get a bit of snow tonight. Justine's walking the plank. It's a log bridge. He goes across the, I think it's the Arm River. So, Wayne's turn. So, if you hear a splash, you'll know I've gone in. Oh, they've got chicken wire on it, and they've got another wire to hang on to by the look of it. So we're just entering the National Park now. So we've got about an hour of this uphill, but years ago it used to be really bad, it used to be straight up. And uh, Parks and Wildlife done the track up and put a lot of switchbacks in it, so it's not as steep. So that oh, makes a huge difference, these switchbacks. You're not walking straight up. Well, that's the steep part over. Now we've sort of got a gradual uphill to get to the top, I suppose. Okay, still walking. Um, coming up on this little clearance now. I think we're at the very, very top part of the climb that we're going to be doing today, up towards New Pallion Hut. So we've still got about a good three hours of walking to do. Once we get up here a bit further, we've got Lake Price and then Lake Air. Okay, we've just stopped for some lunch. I'm having USMRE pizza. Yeah, cooking away in the FRH. Wayne's having a back country. And Justine's having some tuna and a biscuit. Yeah. What meal you got there, Wayne, from backcountry? Uh, what have we got? Beef teriyaki. Beef teriyaki. We've got a bit of rain coming in too. I'd say we're about to cop it. So we're just above Lake Price. Having lunch.
there we have Lake Price and Mount Pillinger in the background with a lot of cloud coming in around it. Beautiful. We've just come across this beautiful little forest of mosses. This is amazing. Oh, well, time to cover some K's. Okay, we've just come out of the forest and up in the distance you have Mount Pillion, Mount Ossa and Mount Pillinger in the background there. So, now we're coming across here and we've got a bit of boardwalk coming up so we might be able to pick up a bit of pace. We've come across this old bridge. Looks like something that Tarzan was in. And uh, I have a feeling that this river is the one that feeds Devil's Cauldron. So there it is there. Anyway, I better hang up for a second. I've got some pretty nifty rock climbing to do here. As you can see, Justine's enjoying herself. Bit of fun. Here we are, an an echidna trying to bury himself onto the track. Poor fella. to the lake just walking past now we're on to the boardwalk so it's quite a bit of boardwalk from here and in I think so we'll see how it goes a nice little walk across this nice clearing we've got a bit of rain coming in so it looks like the rain's just set in so I'm talking on my phone now. I'm filming on my phone. The rain's coming in. So we're cruising along, we've got a lot of boardwalk to come up we come up on. So we should make up a bit of time now. Little bridge we've got to walk across. It's nice. We're about probably over halfway to the hut. So you know, we'll just keep going. Never ever know what you're going to come across, eh? Never know what's around the corner, and this is perfect. So soon we'll be coming up on Lake Eyre. And uh, then the New Pallian Hut. So that's Lake Eyre. So now we've pretty much got to walk to the end of that turn left and we're at the New Pallian Hut. So, it's been a good walk, long one. It's taken us about five and a half, six hours maybe. We've had a few stops and breaks on the way. So, it's a beautiful spot here. Okay, we arrived at the New Pallian Hut a couple of hours ago and it's been shitty and raining and horrible. It's absolutely bloody freezing here at the moment, but it's beautiful. All the flowers are out in bloom and it is really, really cold. So, it's a 
tonight's probably going to get into the minuses and tomorrow hopefully hopefully we have nice weather anyway we will say good night and see you in the morning Okay, we're back at the new Palin hut area, um, which is down that way. Um, we've decided we're going to camp tonight on one of the platforms, so these are our tents. Now, if you watched our last video, you'll see we're in the Mont EXFN, which is a bigger tent. And because Justine wants to do the overland track on her own, we're going to get her used to sleeping in a one-man tent. So, a one-person tent nowadays, you've got to be politically correct. <laughs> So these are the two tents we've just purchased. Now, believe me, we're not sponsored any of this stuff, even though we have a lot of Mont gear, we're not sponsored. We buy everything ourselves. So this is my tent. I didn't want the red one. And that is Justine's tent. Yes, I know we're sleeping next to each other, blah, blah, blah. But when she does this, she's gonna be doing it on her own and she's gonna to wanna to do a lot of other small camps on her own which is a very brave thing because when you're in the middle of the bush in the dark animals and noises can be a very scary place for anybody and this afternoon we're going to do a walk down that way on the overland track down to the old pallion hut for a bit of a look and apparently there's an old copper mine there we're going to go and have a look at as well so there's Wayne over there and yes Wayne's got a Mont tent as well so and no, he's not sponsored either. <laughs> I think he'd like to be though. So, no, they're great tents. It's come to that time. It is ration review. We are doing menu eight. Meatballs in a marinara sauce. So, let's get it out. Action. <laughs> right, so we opened up the ration pack and there it is. So, Favorite this is the meatballs and marinara sauce. Mm -hmm. we got in here? We have garlic mashed potatoes, a chocolate chip cookie. Accessory pack. We have beverage base powder, orange, cheese with jalapeno so um, jalapenos. Yep. Um, we have Italian breadsticks. Wow. We also have a beef stick. Must be like jerk. And a spoon and FRH and beverage bag powder. Okey dokey. Let's get things happening. Aaron, come on. Here we go. Right, they're here. And we get the marinara sauce. Where's the chocolate thing? That's in the other bag. Put that in here. Smashed potato. Now. Let's check out the, we go, the bread sticks. Where's that? Did we get his? Yep. Oh, look at that. Hey, bread sticks. Hey, bread sticks. Cool. And you get the jalapeno cheese. Mm, you know, like it, actually. Well, it's got a bit of a bite, this stuff. Yeah, I think we should. All right, here we go. Time to go. Ah. Looks terrible. <laughs> <laughs> Do one as well. No, I'm right, thanks. No, yeah, no, mm. you no I'll eat your main stuff. I'll have it without that stuff on it. No. Yeah, that. There you go. Try that. 
It's got some bite in it. Should have some of the Aussie bee gum cheese. Mm. Mm. That would have been nice with my cheese. Not too bad. Mm. Not bad at all. Right. Cookie. Maybe a veggie mine on it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I might save this cookie for later, actually. I saw some little stash rows. It's it's only I got cookie. some in the tent. I was going to buy you some, and I thought, oh, Wayne can't go without his veggie I've got heaps. Very fake paddle is the very bad. How much does it say you got to mix in there? Mm, no, right. Not for that one. You wouldn't need it if it was a name, but you eat a camel. You've got to mix up, add. Ounces. This is American. Half a canteen cup. Twelve ounces. What are you doing? <laughs> Come on. You want to be my cameraman? You got to do your properly. I've got to be professional about things. <laughs> oh. There's a spill it everywhere. That's all right. You'd have to do all the bloody ants. Well, at least I'm, I'm actually doing it in the bush and not at the dinner table. Well, that's exactly right. Yeah, on the platform. This is where it's supposed to be eaten. 12 yeah, ounces. 12 ounces. Lord. Okay. Is that if our rate's cranked up? I'll say it is by the sound of it. Now I'm going to fill this everywhere. Oh, Shaken or stirred. It's not quite you say in hospital. Yeah, <laughs> yeah it's it comes out when it's dehydrated. What comes when you get out of the cabin? You see they're hanging underneath the beds, don't you? <laughs> that, that probably looks better. That probably looks, uh, yeah. The there stuff hanging off the beds actually looks more drinkable than that. <laughs> that. That's the cheese you should have saved for that one. That's alright. Nah, that looks alright. That's the Australian army ration one. Tell you what. What's that one? That's the Australian army one. Bigger cheese. Oh yeah. No, that looks alright. Let's have a look at this in the titanium cup. Beef stick. Do you want to have some beef stick? It's got a few, yeah, few, sure. few floaties in there. Is there? Did looks you right. backwash? It's in the bush. Look at that. That's a beef stick. In that. I'll give that to me snouses. <laughs> <laughs> Looks like something It's like a doggy treat, doesn't it? I'm not going to eat that. No, I'll give it a crack. Oh, the rain, you've got to eat it. Where's my I'm not going to try that. Come on. Oh, what is it's it? It's jerky. Okay. It's like jerky. Well, you don't give anything to the snouses. Oh, well. You wouldn't give it to yourself. That's right. <laughs> Looks like it's chocolate beef. Yeah, what? Yeah. What is it? Possum or kangaroo? Like American, bad <laughs> <laughs> no, just a little tiny slice. There you go. There. Yeah. It's Ooh. different. Yeah. Probably horse meat. Nay, is that either? I see the stuff down there that the wombat's left in the path looks better. Nah, that's nah, pretty good. <laughs> you haven't tried it? Yeah, I just saw it move. Is it still alive? <laughs> you haven't tried it? Hang on, we'll give her a crack. Second I'll give it the thumbs up or the thumbs down. Mmm. <laughs> Terrific. <laughs> if you pretend it's not dog food, it's all right. Yeah, no, it's, it's, it's all right. As yeah, I said, you know, this stuff here is like, you know, you're in the middle of nowhere. Oh, Some put bugger trying to kill you, and you get a little bit at home. No, it's not too down. bad. Australian one, which hasn't let you down. Okay. All right, ready? So anyway, I'm trying to warm the food up in the FRH, and the FRH is a dud. It's not working. So, <laughs> so I'm going to... Get rid of that, turn that one, and I'm going to use this one here, good old Australian Army Issue FRH. 
It's like this one's a rainy day and looks like it's a rainy day. So. So this thing should sound like a brake train when it fires up. Farm Mount block to Oakley. the left, you got Mount Oakley in front of us. It was absolutely covered in mud. And we yeah. woke up to snow on the mountain. We woke up to snow on Mount Oakley and there's still snow up there now. So you feel like getting hot already, can't you? Yeah. I couldn't have one of them this morning. Yeah, look at that. Yeah, Australian Army gear never fails. Look at that, they've got the idiot's guide on there. Not to be eaten. I wonder what that tastes like. Why would you want to eat a, a bag? Just to She's sizzling. <laughs> She's sizzling. That's, That's the Australian really? one. Yep, this is what the Australian Army is. So it's like got the same part. Oh, this one's getting warm now. Look at that. Sounds like a brake train. Yeah. Yeah. Bad, that way. I should put that in my boots. The main meals that I've been eating on this trip uh, Australian no, Army CR1Ms. I'm having oh. bread tonight for dinner. I'm having mashed potato and I'm having a beef stew. That's my dinner tonight. It smells like gunpowder. And. Dessert tonight is a backcountry carrot cake with custard. And I've got the old cherry cobbler. Oh, she's got a cherry cobbler out of one of my other MREs. So. Okay. okay, now the good old Australian FRH has done the business. Oh, good God, they're hot. <laughs> there we go. Perfecto. So, this one here is. Meat bowls in marinara sauce. So let's get this sorted out and have a look. Oh yeah, it's hot. Do you want to borrow my plate? No, it means you've got to wash it. Oh no, Don't you hate that. Here we go. Take two. Ooh, oh, look at that. Oh. Look at that. that looks... Yeah, if you was in the army, you wouldn't be going, I'm not eating that. Now, we've got the mashed potato. We'll give that a bit of a knead up to make sure it's all mixed up. This is garlic mashed potato. That looks better than the cat food. Oh, you... <laughs> <laughs> it looks like cat food. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Here we go. Or something the cat threw up. <laughs> <laughs> no, it looks all right. That's right. And after this, after this um, <laughs> MRE... <laughs> Ration review, we're going to have wise words with Wayne <laughs> and thought for the day. <laughs> so this is the garlic How mashed potatoes. How to eat vomit. <laughs> garlic mashed potatoes. Let's try this first. <laughs> vegetarian can eat the mashed potato. They come from vegetarian spud. <laughs> Vegan friendly. Oh well. And this comes from. If it's vegan, vegan friendly, it's got to be good. Cows. <laughs> so what was the other mashed potato? Was, that's the American one. Did I have the army? Or oh. the army one? No, that's the uh, Australian army one. Here we go, marinara meatball. I remember you used to buy that for me, cat. <laughs> <laughs> Here we go. Nah, it looks all right. Let's go. It's all in the taste, not in the looks. Mate. Mm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. That's all right, you're going to have a taste in a minute. You got your spoon? Give that here. Jason. There we go, with the bread. Yeah. Try that. Notice he's not telling you not to have a small spoon this time. And it's not dessert, so it doesn't matter. Mmm, <laughs> it's actually not bad. Mm. Have some spud. Mmm, it's better than it looks. Some shit house paper. <laughs> 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 so. At the end of the day, yes, good meal. Wayne, your opinion? Uh, yeah, it, it tastes way better than it looks. But no, it's nice. 
Yeah, it's pretty good. The vegetarian wouldn't eat any of the meatballs. Yeah, have anyway, you, it's a really have good. Have your shithouse paper. <laughs> and it's, this is, this Let's is, review the shithouse paper yeah. now. So now <laughs> okay, mate, over to the bushes. Over to the toilet <laughs> and we'll review the toilet paper. It's like using a bus ticket. You, ain't, you don't get much. It's, it's, you it's might as well use a bus ticket because you, you, you get I'll more you, paper. I'll show you the actual way that these are supposed to be used, right? This is how you use it, right? <laughs> I know this trick. Right. Right. The one this with the do, finger feet. Open it up, right? And you take your sheet because you can get a lot out of this. You can get about 10 goes out of it. I think there's 10 sheets. <laughs> so you actually get the, the paper like that. that. I've got to use it right? later. So you get it like that, right? You fold it in half, <laughs> right? And you tear a hole in it. Well, Dad used to do this. Right, you tear a hole I, in it like yes. that, right? <laughs> then you get it, you stick your finger through like that, right? <laughs> <laughs> then you jam it up your clagger, and then you go like that, and it's done. And then you get this little corner piece here, and you clean the turd out from under your fingernails. <laughs> Done. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> okay, we're on the overland track and there's the big mountain, Mount Oakley, and there's Justine. Give me a wave. So, I'm actually going to go down to the old Pallion hut for a look. And apparently there's an old copper mine down here we're going to go and try and find. No, on our luck we probably won't, but there you go. This is a, officially the overland track. We're walking it backwards. And, uh, yeah, it's boardwalk this section, but trust me, a lot of people say, oh, an overland track's easy because it's all boardwalk. Well, it's not. If you watch one of my last videos, actually one of my really early videos on the Avalanche track, you'll see that um, a lot of the sections are very gnarly. But there you go, have a look at that. Mount Oakley. Beautiful. Anyway, I'll see you at the hut. to the old Pallion hut that's a nifty little hut <laughs> so that's it so we'll just go in for a quick look it's not as big as I thought it would be no This is my first time in the hut, I've done the overland track. Yeah, okay. Um, no, sorry. Right, so now we're going to go down and have a look for the old copper mine. Yeah, okay. Okay, we made it down to the copper mine. So... The old phone light's not very good. But yeah, it goes in about 100 metres apparently. Hey! Hello! 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 Goes in a long way. A lot of little insects in here. Probably bats and spiders. Okay, we're sitting down having a rest. Just having a drink after having a look in the mine um, down there is Douglas Creek which was the creek we crossed on the swinging bridge up further when we went on the Arm River track
Well, morning everybody. We're sitting beside Lake Eyre. Tasmania that is, not South Australia. Um, shitty day. Yesterday it was a bit disappointing. We couldn't get to do what we wanted to do. So anyway, we're on our way out. The other day it took us two hours to get from this point to the hut. Today it's taken us an hour, so we're going pretty good today. And it's not absolutely belting down with rain. It's drizzling. The track's muddy and crappy and yeah, not the best, but very overgrown. They should get someone up there with a brush cutter to sort it out, but that don't matter. Yes, because of that, everyone's walking around the boardwalks. So anyway, we'll just stop for a quick break. I'm getting hot. I'm going to take my thermals off. So I'll turn the camera off for that because I don't want to freak out the women. Subscribers, all three of them. So anyway, we'll get moving in a minute. We're just gonna have a quick drink and get moving. Walking along on a bit of boardwalk. Really, really nice spot. Just having a quick stop on the track for lunch. Looks like the rain has gone. And the sun's starting to come out, hopefully, so we'll get a move on and hope we're up further, we can get the wet weathers off. So everyone's getting their gear sorted out and we're about to head off again. That's Mount Pillinger over there, and that's the way down to Lee's Paddock. Well, it's not the way down, yeah. but uh, down the bottom there is Lee's Paddock. We're heading this way on the boardwalk, and uh, yeah, been a bit of a slog getting up the hill. A lot of mud, a lot of water, as you can see. Quite a nice stroll along here. Where we've just been, it's been all rocky and sort of. I hear tell that it actually floods. Down there, it gets quite bad in the severe rains. So, but at the moment, it's quite nice. Boat might have to take the wet weather's off in a minute. And Mount Pillinger. Lovely. So, I'm just getting photos. Pretty spacky views. Oh, look at that. Magnificent. That's Cathedral Mountain down there. All the way down the bottom is Lee's Paddock, Wadley's. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. There's a little puddle there. I might push Wayne in and watch him swim. Give us a smile, babe. Okay, walking along here, it's been quite a pleasant walk across this moorland, coming from uh, that way, coming through a bit of bush here, whoop, whoop, whoop. not watching what I'm doing.
from this point on I don't have any video footage because my video camera batteries were flat. We had a pleasant walk down but the track was very slippery but all in all we had a great weekend and on behalf of J and J Explore I'd like to wish everybody a happy new year for 2021.